there's been a lot of controversy happening over the last 48 hours in reference to what is really picking up steam in the Diablo 4 community. And that is the recent announcement that the leaderboards in season three is not going to be released on February 13th, like communicated by Rod Ferguson, but it's going to be delayed. And as he put it on his ex post, they need to polish up the leaderboards. Therefore, it's going to be delayed a little bit longer. Now, in my video, my last video about this, I highlight Rob's Diablo 4 post on X where he was frustrated and then Pez Radar jumped in and I'm assuming reached out to him directly because I don't see any evidence of the communication between Pez Radar and Rob about this. But Rob then posts immediately after that saying that he spoke to Pez Radar and the leaderboards is going to be coming in February. They just need to fix it up. It's just not happening on the 13th. And that was basically my video, my last video. Now, since then, a lot of other content creators have, uh, have chimed in. And of course, you know, I don't want to speak for them, but if you go and watch their content, basically the sentiment is the same as mine almost. And that is the fact that a lot of everyone is disappointed. How can you not be? Uh, everyone, the majority of the people were looking forward to the leaderboards. Season three was communicated as the leaderboard season. And um, yeah, it's stirred up a lot. So in this video, I just want to give an update on really what's being said out there and kind of some theories, conspiracy theories that kind of fell on my lap. And, and, and directly what's behind me is a comment left on my video about this controversy and the delay in the leaderboard. So we're going to go over that. And I do want to touch on a couple of things. And then as usual, please stick around till the end where I kind of wrap things up and give you my two cents worth on what this all means. And I give you my take on what I think it means. Now, first of all, before I get into this theory behind me posted by one of the people that put a comment on my video, uh, my last video, I wanna talk a little bit about Rax. And, and everybody knows Rax. Uh, if you played Diablo 4, uh, you know Rax. The guy is a, a grinder, man. He's a grinder. I, I, I love his content. I wish I had more time to watch it. But for the ones that I do watch, uh, he's always, uh, always on the ball. I tend to agree with a lot of his takes. Um, but I wanna play this take of his and it's gotten from the outside looking in now i don't know the guy uh but he seems like a good guy he's on like a 10-year stream consistently for 10 years kind of thing and so he's out there grinding his ass off um and he's also got i don't know 13 or 14 level 100 characters uh in diablo 4 so he's played the game he knows the game uh so if anyone uh has a right to talk about it it's him and this is his initial take i take it as the announcement of rod ferguson stating that the season three leaderboards is no longer coming on February 13th. So let's hear what Rack ha Rax has to say and potentially the comment that he made or the suggestion that he made that's kind of getting him some flack in the community. Um, so let's hear what he has to say. Opinion. This is what I think Diablo 4 and Blizzard needs to do. I think you should pull the gauntlet for season three. Season three, cumulatively, is gonna be a loss. It's a loss, right? The most people really don't like the pets. They've moved away from it. They did do the emergency thing and made it a little bit better. It's kind of over. The thing that we were hyping up for season three didn't release. It's gonna release on February 13th. Oh, just kidding, it's coming later. And when it comes later, Last Epoch's gonna be out, da 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 da. Not like they have to plan their lives around Last Epoch, but if, if you're going to make people 
choose against one or the other, people seem to be more favorable toward that game than than this about what's going on. Um, I would just pull it, man. I would say release it in season four with the itemization update because it's much more than just the individual um, events coming out. It's not just about the gauntlet. It's not just about the Seneschal theme not releasing well. It's about people are actually genuinely losing faith in the Diablo 4 team. I personally have in my Discord inbox right now a bunch of DMs from different content creators where they're just they're asking my opinion and I'm I'm trying to not be super negative here about about the situation because people are just genuinely down to their core losing faith. Some people have lost it a long time ago. So let's unwrap what Rack said. And I'm going to put his video in the uh, the link in the description. So if you could please go watch it, if you want to watch it in full. It's about an 11-minute video, and I just took out the one minute where he talks about what he suggests Diablo 4 do. So if you want to go... Please go ahead and support him. He's he's a he's a great content creator and he's got a lot of good takes. And he also streams, so maybe you can go catch him live and talk to him via chat. But uh, go give him a like and uh, subscribe if you want and uh, go support him. Uh, unless you're a content creator, you have no idea the amount of work that goes into creating content. So uh, the man has been streaming every day for I don't know how many years now, but he's not, he wants to hit 10 years straight. So... Um, it's a lot of work, not only streaming, but creating content. So go uh, go support them. The, the link for this video will be in my description bar. Anyway, what? let's unwrap what he said. So Rax says that just because of what is going on right now and the discontent in the Diablo 4 community, he feels that the wise thing to do, and I'm paraphrasing here, um, the wise thing to do is to pull the plug on the leaderboards and not launch it as planned in season three and to get it right and launch it in season four. Now, I understand Rax's rationale because really at the core of his suggestion is the fact that he wants them again. I'm, I'm This is how I interpret his comments, right? I think what he means is he's really concerned that the Diablo 4 player base is so fragile right now that they're all going to leave. That really, with that in his mind, Rax is thinking, look, you got to get this leaderboard right. You can't mess with it because this is so fragile right now. So his methodology, his rationale is don't F with that. So don't just release the leaderboards half-baked. Like, take your time, get it right, give yourself the extra couple of months and launch it with season four because things are so fragile right now. You can't have another L, you know? And I think, again, my opinion, I think that's why Rax has this opinion. And I can totally see what he's saying. And he's a smart guy for thinking like that. He's thinking about the player base and how fragile they are. And one more L might ruin it forever, if that makes any sense. So I think that's where his thought process is and why he made this um, suggestion that they not release the leaderboards until season four. So <clears throat> I commend him for having that thought and, and intuitive mind of his that looks into stuff like that. And that's one of the reasons why I like Rax. He, he, he doesn't jump on the bandwagon. He actually thinks about, like, he, he, he takes his experiences, what he knows in the industry, and he applies it to his rationale and his content. So I can appreciate what Rax um, how I believe he came up with this idea. Um, 
So that's that. Now he's gotten a lot of flack for it. And look, when you're a content creator, you're gonna, you know, even me, a little small guy, content creator, I got, you know, D4 fanboys coming into my content all the time telling me, be quiet. You shouldn't even be talking about D4. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. D4 is good. You don't know what you're talking about kind of thing, right? They watched five seconds of a video of mine and they make a comment on that five seconds, not hearing the whole story. Or even worse, I have over a hundred videos uh, in my D4 playlist library on my channel and they've watched one minute of over a hundred videos of D4. So they probably don't even know where I began and where I am today. Um, so I understand how what Rax is going through to a small percentage compared to him, who's a huge content creator. Um, but I do have to say, I don't believe, with all due respect to Rax, I understand how he came up with his idea, his recommendation. But with all due respect, I don't believe that's a good idea. I really don't. And I'll tell you why. Um, it's because they can't afford to add it on to season four it'll be another l and i know they're already under the l umbrella right now for postponing it for announcing it and then postponing it actually there's been three four l's in season three okay number one season three launches without the leaderboards on january 23rd l number one season three goes on without the leaderboards and the Seneschal is non-existent, never, people can't find him. He doesn't do anything. You don't even feel the presence. So they put a patch out. Sorry, that's L number two. They put a patch out and now the Seneschal can, you know, kill bosses for you. <laughs> you know, you can just AFK, let the Seneschal do the work, right? And then they announce, uh, they announced that leaderboards are coming February 13th, and then it gets postponed, L number three. And so if they do this, this will be the fourth L, and the season is not even not even a month old. It's a couple of weeks old. Um, but that's not the main reason why I suggest not to postpone leaderboards. And that is the fact that season three was communicated, marketed, we can go all the way back to BlizzCon where they talked about season three and every time they put up on that huge screen what season three was about, it was about the leaderboards. They didn't talk about no Seneschal. They talked about leaderboards and all these images, images about leaderboards. So season three was marketed as the leaderboard season. So they have to put... Well, they don't have to. They could delay it. They may delay it. Um, I think that would be wrong. They need to get it right, and they need to introduce the leaderboards. I personally think that the leaderboards is not a big deal anyway. I don't think the majority of the player base really care one way or another. Remember, to me, Diablo 4 is, a, is made for the casual player, and I don't mean that in a der derogatory way. With all due respect, I have no, if you're a casual player, you're a casual player. IRL dictates that you only have three, four, five hours a week. So be it. Whatever. No problem. I don't have a problem with casual game players and that's not a dig in any way. But I'm just saying this game is made for the casual player. Um, so do you actually think casual players are going to grind the leaderboard? They're going to play it, but they're not going to. You know, the leaderboard is designed, as they describe it, they meaning the Diablo 4 dev team, is it's it's the same. The enemies are going to be in the same spots. The The map is going to be the same. So it's, it's built for us to go in, learn it, and get better and better and better at it as the week progresses. They're one-week trials, right? And it resets every week. But for that week, it's the same where the enemies are, where the map is, like everything. So w the the point of the leaderboards is the, the dev team 
built it so players can replay it, replay it, learn it more, and get more efficient at doing it and seeing if they can top the leaderboard. So do you think a casual player has that amount of time to repeat, 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 repeat? Now, they'll be able to try it, but they're not going to have the same grind or the same hours into trying to improve their score like a hardcore player will. Like, or some of these streamers that play video games for 12, 14, 15, 16 hours a day, that's that's three weeks, that, that's a month's work of playtime for a casual player in one day. Um, so I don't even think they care. So as long as it's not a royal L and a screw up, I don't really think it's gonna mean the end of the world for Diablo 4 going into the future. To me, what is the end of the road for Diablo 4 season four? And it's been marketed and communicated as the season of itemization. Now, if they continue to label seasons and then don't deliver on them, God knows what season four is gonna be because it's supposed to be the season of itemization. But anyway, so with all due respect, uh, I usually agree with what Rax's takes, uh, but on this one, um, I, I agree with his methodology and his rationale, and I can see how he came up with this opinion, but I don't think it's going to mean that big of a deal if you're asking me, so why delay it? It's not going to make or break season three because it's dead. Season three is already a loss. I don't think there's anything they could do unless it's a major grand slam with the leaderboards. Um, that's going to turn around season three. Excuse me. Season three is an L. Um, so don't touch season four. I would concentrate on itemization because that is going to not only bring enthusiasm back in the game, but potentially bring more players back because itemization is a big item, um, a big thing that needs to be fixed in this game one of the big things so fixing that is more important than leaderboards in my humble opinion now conspiracy theories i had this comment on my video my last video regarding the drama with the leaderboards and it being postponed okay and this gentleman um i'm not going to read his whole post but he does have a recap at the bottom and he's kind of counter arguing what i said that this, you know, basically on my last video, I said, there's the potential, in my opinion, there's the potential, they're delaying season three leaderboards from February 13th because they want to screw last epoch. That's my opinion. Now, a lot of people have said, you have no foundation, you have, you know, you, you have no backup for this. And I, I don't know, guys, I don't know how else to put it in my videos. When I say this is my opinion, this is my take, I think inherently you should take from that that this is my take. It's my opinion. Doesn't mean it's fact. It's my opinion. <laughs> so I don't know. Please tell me in the comment section what you want me to say when it's my opinion. I, I, I don't get it. But anyway, this gentleman basically goes on to say you forget to realize a lot of things. So I'm going to read his recap. Basically, he's... His whole post was about the timelines, but why I want to highlight this point. And first of all, thank you for the gentleman or the person that did this. I love when you guys comment on my videos. I, You guys educate me. Uh, hopefully I educate you guys in my videos, but I love the interactions that we have in, our, in, in the comment section on my video. So jump on in there and get in there and give me your take because I learned so much and I hope you guys learn too. But basically this guy's saying that um, I'll, I'll save his major conspiracy theory at the end. Okay. So basically he says, look, Joe Piapora said several weeks on the season three trailer release on January 17th. So he's saying Joe Piapora said on January 17th, that leaderboards are going to launch several weeks into the season. Okay. Podcast with Rod. He's referring to the Xbox podcast, which I highlighted in my previous video uh podcast with rod released january 24th saying that the release date for the gauntlet is jan is feb 13 this was pre-recorded 
The gauntlet wasn't mentioned at all for 10 days after that point from any source at all, never announced on Twitter, Blizzard forums, websites, nowhere. Okay. So I did get confirmation from Pez Radar through Twitter that it was, um, that announcement was made before season three was launched. Pure Diablo posts about the release date on February 14th, 10 days after the podcast and the gauntlet date were released where Rob, Woody, et cetera, pick up on the news and report it. So February 4th, 10 days after that podcast, they mention, he mentions that a lot of people said February 13th is the release date for the gauntlet. Rod comes out on Monday the 5th of Feb saying the gauntlet date is postponed. The day after the report, reportings were made on the Sunday, February 4th. This is only official announcement about the gauntlet since the Rod podcast. There was never any official launch date announced, but there are official postponement announcements. Put that one together. So what he's saying is Rob is saying it, but no official announcement vis-a-vis -vis, um, the Diablo 4 team. Management didn't know about the pre-recorded date. Rod is almost for sure not around. He would have known the announcement date. I'm betting whoever overlooked the podcast being released is in trouble. So this is the point of me wanting to highlight. First of all, thank you for the person that commented and left this. Very good information here, by the way. Very detailed. I have all the time in the world for people that put this much time in their comments and research. Um, so I have, um, mad respect for this person. They, they, they obviously did their homework before they made a comment on the video, but I want to get into his conspiracy theory that basically what he's saying is we don't know that Rod is around and he's stating that most likely Rod, the GM of Diablo is not around. Now I find that hard to believe because number one, this week, as I'm recording this video, okay, this is the week of the fifth, okay? Um, this is the week that Johanna Ferries is in Irvine, California right now, conducting town hall meetings and meeting with everyone at Activision Blizzard. If you guys remember in one of my videos, when Johanna Ferries was announced as the new president of Activision Blizzard Entertainment, in her letter to the Activision Blizzard employees, she said next week, which is this week, I will be in Irvine, California, and I look forward to meeting with every one of you. We're going to have town hall meetings. We're going to meet with some people one-on-one. -on -one. If you're not going to be there, contact me directly. I can't wait to learn more, that kind of thing, right? So as I am creating this video, this whole week, Johanna Ferries, the new president of Activision Blizzard, is conducting meetings with everyone at Activision Blizzard. I can't imagine Rod Ferguson would have been let go prior to her meeting him and saying, hi, Rob, what's going on? How are things? And, you know, they would have their meeting. Now, whether she does it one-on-one, -on -one, I would imaz imagine as the general manager of the game, one of the biggest games, if not um, the biggest game or franchise, sorry, franchise for the studio, I would imagine you'd want to have a direct one-on-one -on -one meeting with the general manager of that franchise. Um, so I don't believe that this take is accurate. I believe he's still there. Now, whether he's going to be there in the future, who knows? Um, but she's She's meeting with all of them this week. So yes, there have been layoffs. And this person says that, you know, we haven't seen from Rob. We haven't seen Rod, sorry, in a while. And I would suspect that someone's just tweeting out using his account, which I don't think is possible. Uh, it's his name. Yes, uh, he, it's his name, but he's using his name, but is conducting business out of it. And and this gentleman does, or a person does say that, uh, but I don't think that uh, Rod has, uh, is not there no more. That is something that may or may not happen in the future. I would think Johanna is going to want to meet with everybody. And then whether or not she decides to make decisions on that is another topic. Now, I do have a take on this before I go. 
I do believe there is going to be a change in the de development team of Diablo 4. I do. I'm not going to name names just because that's not what I want my content to be about. Last thing I want to do is point out people and say, this person should go, that person should go. That's not my role. And first of all, it would be very slimy of me to do that because I don't know all the details. Uh, the only people that know what's going on in Activision Blizzard are the people in Activision Blizzard working at Activision Blizzard and part of the team of Activision Blizzard de development team. And they can see the nuances and the interactions and what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis. Those are the only people that can say, I don't think this person is qualified. I don't think that. I can make a guess. I can give you my opinion on it, but um, it wouldn't be a valid one 100% because I'm not there 100%. Uh, however, sometimes you can read the tea leaves as they say. Uh, however, in my humble opinion, there is going to be a development team shake up uh, I believe um, it's going to be a, a big one uh, but that's my opinion I'm not going to name names I wish there was a way where I could put something on a piece of paper and show it to you guys after because I do believe or I know what I would do let's just put it that way okay um, I know what who I would change or changes I know what I would do, um, but I'm predicting there is going to be a development team shakeup and only time will tell. We'll see what happens. She's I'm sure she's taking this whole week to meet everybody. And then, of course, she's going to have to absorb everything. And then we'll see what she does with that. However, I want to go to my final take, and that is this whole drama and we'll wrap it up right here. This is um, this is not not good. Obviously, let's just unwrap. Day one to now has been more L's than W's. Really, we have two W's in this game, and that's the launch date, where record sales, record players, fanfare. Everything good. That didn't last too long, but that was a W. Uh, and then season two was a W. Um, but outside of that, everything has been an L. And uh, this is why I believe, again, I'm not suggesting it. I'm assuming that's why there's going to be a shakeup. Uh, but time will tell. But this is not good. And little by little, the erosion of the player base continues to decimate the amount of players playing this game. Now, I understand there are still players playing this game, of course. They come into my streams, they come into my comment section every day, and they tell me, I'm enjoying it, and great, guys, I'm happy for you. Enjoy it, fill your boots, that's really good, I'm happy for you, but you're the minority. You're the minority, bro. The majority of the player base that want to play this game or play this game say that major changes and there's big problems in this game. So uh, we all, at the end of the day, why do I continue to make Diablo 4 content? And I said this on my stream the other night. I continue to make Diablo 4 content because I'm upset that I can't play this game and I want to play this game. Do you understand? I want to I want to play this game and it upsets me that I can't because it's so goddamn boring and there's no itemization and there's no variety in the end game and that's just two. I could talk for hours on all the other things, quality of life, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um so that's why I continue to make Diablo 4 content. If I had no intentions of coming back, you wouldn't hear one iota from me about what the heck's going on with Diablo 4 because why would I talk about it if I don't want to play the game? I don't talk about games I don't want to play. I talk about games that I would like to play, okay? I do content on PoE because I want to play PoE. I talk about Last Epoch because I'm interested in trying out 1.0. I did content on Enshrouded because I do also love survival games. So I talk about things that I want to play and that I enjoy. So Diablo 4 is a game that I want to get back to wanting to play. 
if that makes any sense. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your comments. If you find out anything new, let me know. I'm scouring the internet as much as I can all the time, bringing you, hopefully bringing you guys updated D4 news. So hit the like and comment uh, and comment on this video. And if you can find it in your heart to subscribe, hit the bell so you, you get notifications when I go live or when I drop new content because I will be continuing to update you on all the D4 news, all the relevant D4 news. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.